Hello and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. Our special guest all the way from the United Kingdom is Anne-Marie Waters back with us today. She's a commentator, uh, a political provocateur, and the founder of For Britain. She's an expert on all things coming from across the pond as an indication of what we in America should be expecting over here. Anne-Marie, welcome back. Hi, Barry. Thank you very much for having me back. Oh, it's such a pleasure. So let's start off with COVID. You have a conservative leader, uh, Boris Johnson. What kind of jobs he doing? No. <laughs> oh, uh, well, nobody has any faith. Nobody knows what we're, what's coming. You know, our, the chancellor is spending billions and billions and billions is, as I said, even paying half of our restaurant bill when we go out for dinner. And there seems to be an endless stream of money. And at no point have they told us how we're going to pay this money back, where this money is coming from or how it's going to go back into the coffers. This is not discussed. So that's not leadership. So in answer to the question, he's not doing a very good job. The country has no idea where we stand. We, the state is still paying salaries at the moment. That comes to an end next month. That will mean massive unemployment because the companies won't be able to pay the salaries. We've no idea what's around the corner, none. And we, ha we don't have a leader we can depend on at all. Well, we have a conservative, uh, mm -hmm. Donald Trump, mm -hmm. but we have a very liberal Congress and they're spending money like they were printing it. Oh, wait a minute. They are. They are. <laughs> <But I knew. laughs> you amateurs in Britain are spending billions. We are spending trillions that we don't have. <laughs> I mean, on our side of the pond, Anne Marie, we're we're spending money out of the air that doesn't exist at 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 a pace even including adjusted for inflation, World War II, it was never like this. World War I, it was never like this. There's never been spending in world history. Because keep in mind, when you have a 9-11 that affects, say, New York and the United States, and it changes air travel and blah, 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 and you have a war on terror, or you have a big war like World War II, you have every country in the world spending money that nobody has that nobody has any idea how it's going to be paid back. There's going to be a reckoning. I don't know when, but it's coming. Your thoughts? I, I completely agree. We can't, we're already, I mean, the UK was already 85% of GDP in debt before coronavirus. You can already not ever pay that back. At some point, I mean, people are borrowing to pay debt and borrowing to pay debt and borrowing to pay debt. At some point, no one's gonna loan anymore and debts are going to be called in. And then we, we are stuck with these almost unimaginable figures. Um, it feels like the reset button, you know, that the, the reset button that people are talking about, the, where the, 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 we're gonna just reset society. Everything's gonna go and we're gonna reset it. That is what it feels like. There's no, you can't imagine how we can ever get back to normal after this. Everything is, everything's gone. Everything's if we changed. could, if you and I could grab hands and jump into the future, you know, 25 years and look back and ask people, what do you think of what happened? Probably the universal question is, what the hell were you thinking? You had a disease that was killing almost nobody right. and you destroyed, get this, the entire world's economy over it and then every country in the world made up money that they didn't have to cover the hole created by the economic shutdown for a disease that virtually killed no one am i right or wrong i, I think you're right and and everyone i speak to now says the same thing to me try to make sense of this i can't you know, we're, I, I, even now, I, I'm, you know, you, 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 you can't, you know, we're, we're in, I just, we're in such an absurd situation where our, our health secretary, this is my favorite, our health secretary was forced to admit on, on television that if you go into a restaurant and sit down to eat your meal, you don't have to wear a mask. 
But if you go in for takeaway, you do have to wear the same restaurant. And that's, you know, nobody, that's, that's just one example of how absurd everything is. And, you know, no one can explain why we shut down the economy the way we did. And the whole Western world did it. You know, it wasn't just, we can't blame it on Boris Johnson. The entire Western world at the same time did it. We did it late. We did it after the disease had become less of a threat. Then we went into lockdown. Then we shut off our economy. And after the lockdown, then we made masks compulsory. You know, <laughs> nobody, just nobody understands it. And it's, you know, it's easy. It's, it's, it's I do laugh at it. I, you laugh. I laugh that that restaurant example, for example, you know, just really does make me laugh. But we are, I don't know what's coming. I, um, political upheaval is coming. That much I hope. I, I cannot see how we can continue with the politics that we have. We have the, a situation here as well. While we're locked down and while the country is paying, I don't know what, we are bringing in illegal immigrants. Illegal immigrants are landing on our shores every day. The state is going out to collect them, putting them onto coaches and taking them to hotels. This is happening at a rate of hundreds of people every day on, on one shoreline. Uh, what what can you say to this? What what can you say? Uh, we were, we were told stay at home, and they were bringing people in from all over the world. Thanks for joining us today on ATP Report, and a special thanks to Anne Marie Waters. Uh, and how can people get a hold of you and see what you're doing online? Our website is forbritain.uk. Uh, that will have our manifesto, all of our contact details, uh, details of branches, how to help, how to get involved. Um, so for Britain.uk, uh, please do check it out. Thank you so much. And for all of you that haven't subscribed in the US only, uh, please take out your cell phone and send the message truth and send it to 88202 push send. You'll be subscribed to our text message service that's always free. And you'll get all the episodes like this one with Anne Marie Waters directly to you on your cell phone. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum.